Hello YouTuber, I would like to share my experience installing uh, Potlight. So this is one of the Potlights. It's in dim, dimmable state. So it's the low, low light state. If I go a little bit higher maybe you will not be able to see yeah see that's the maximum so they are dimmable as you can see using a standard dimmer and <coughs> I want to explain how to install them actually how to buy them and they don't cost a lot of money it's around ten dollars a piece including the pot light the fixture and the bulb so follow the instructions and you can do the same uh, if you can if you go to your uh, hardware store like Home Depot Lowe's or something else you might find this type of packs of six fixtures these are four inches you might have a three inch and they will have a GU10 bulb included these bulbs are not LED these are halogen lights so what we do we buy this box and we replace the halogen bulbs with similar wattage but LED bulbs. The price of this box may vary from country to country, from store to store. This box I bought for $70 for 6 pieces. But if you go with a 3 inch size, you might get them for $40 a box. Okay, so you do the math <coughs> 40 per 6 piece or 70 per 6 piece. They come in white color, metallic, stainless steel, and maybe something else. The brand name doesn't matter. This one is called JIB, but you might find them in different, different uh, uh, trade trademarks. They are made in China, of course. They are decent quality. So I will show you what how they look inside. So that's what you'll get. Okay. Now, <clears throat> as I said, you need LED replacement. So something like that, 7 watt, it's equivalent to 50 watt. So here if you can see they are 50 watt, the output power is 50 watt. These will give you the 50 watt output equivalent, but they will consume only 7 watt because they are LED. Okay, So they are like 7 times more efficient than the halogen that comes with the box they are from the same company BAZZ Baz if you see here it's the same one if you <coughs> go shopping try to buy the one with a warm white color so 
look for this number 3000 this is bright white you cannot get them in 2700 K this will be a warm warmer white but this bright white is okay for a basement it's not as warm as the incandescent bulbs that you are used to but they are good enough and I don't think LED are sold in 2700k range so the best you can get is the 3000k range now when you compare the fixtures the bulbs you have to to compare the light output which is lumens in this case is 475 lumens so when you compare different LED bulbs compare this value instead of the 7 or 8 or 6 watts that you can see here is a 7 watt and also the beam angle is 40 degree which is okay for a basement some will come in 30 degree some will come in 25 degree they are very narrow angles and they might not suit a basement installation okay so next we will go through the process of opening so that's what you are getting here twist so this is the GU10 socket okay so the LED that you will buy should have the GU10 socket too okay now this is the electrical box So here you will have three wires, ground, neutral and this is the hot wire or maybe no, the blue is the hot wire, blue is hot. Now when you install the light fixture, you have to remove these knockouts just by hand. So your cable goes here, but to protect the cable from the sharp edges, you have to buy a special connector. You will find them in the hardware stores. So the connector goes here then your cable goes inside this connector is cheap couple of maybe quarter sorry for the interruptions <coughs> now <coughs> so <coughs> this fixture could be used in in a uh, finished basement with insulation or without insulation because there are rules that if you use a, a halogen light 
you cannot use it in a basement with insulated ceilings you must have a special barrier around your fixture if you have an insulated ceiling because the halogen lights are very hot you cannot touch them with your hand and they might uh, burn the insulation and create a fire now if you are using the LED LED fixtures with LED bulbs you can use them in insulated ceilings because they are warm to the feeling and they will not burn any insulation okay so now so here you can have a direction different direction to the beam or no direction so as I said this is the halogen bulb this you can give it a gift to somebody or or sell them or throw them it's up to you we don't need this 